with you. It's yeah. an honor. Yeah, the Bible good. says where two or three are gathered together in his oh, name, nice. there he would be. Oh, and we yes. already know he's been in this yes. place. Amen. Yes. Amen. Uh, Brother and Sister Richardson, thank you so much for having me today. Oh, when Sister Richardson asked me to speak, my immediate reaction was, uh, I cannot do that. I am not a public speaker. But one of my favorite prayers is the prayer of Jabez. I say it every yes. single day. Yeah, and as I'm sure you know, it says, Oh, that you would bless me indeed. And oh, yes. Enlarge my territory, yes. that your hand would be with me, that you would keep me from evil, that I may not cause pain. Yes. I'm pretty sure that one little line, enlarge my territory, is what oh, got me here. Yes. 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 So I figured I can't ask God to do these things for me and then say, no, sorry, just joking, right. just because I'm scared. Yes. So, uh, I, I'm not worthy to be up here, but he's worthy of any praise and every praise I can give him. So if you'll just bear with me and say a little prayer for me, I'm going to try to do justice to what you put on my heart. I was asked to speak for just a moment on God our healer. Has anyone here ever felt God's healing virtue flow over you? touch you in your moment of need. Yes. I have. I suffered from anxiety, fear, and panic attacks for years. Oh, yes. The devil had stolen all my joy and left me totally gripped with sheer panic that I just tried to deal with on my own. Yeah. But one Sunday morning, when my face buried in a pew, crying out to God, he healed me of that. I, I felt the weight lift off oh, my no. chest and I could breathe for the first time. He's a healer. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Have you ever cried out to God in desperation for a sick baby and mm -hmm. seen almost instantly that high fever go down yes. or that sickness oh, inside? Oh, yeah. I have. Yeah. When my youngest son was about four years old, he started choking on a small piece of plastic. Oh, By the time yeah. I realized what was happening, he was completely purple and his eyes had rolled back in his head. Oh, yeah. I didn't have time to get help. I didn't have time to call 911. Yeah. I was too panicked to remember CPR or what to do. But with my hands on my baby, I just screamed, Jesus! Jesus. Somehow he did all this through his breathing. My God is a healer. Yeah. Have you got family members that shouldn't even be here today because the doctors gave them a death sentence? But we have a personal relationship with the great physician. They're alive and walking miracles right now because of that. When my Aunt Sheila was only in her late 20s, with three small children, she was diagnosed with stage 4 breast cancer. The doctors told our family it was almost certainly too late for her and to try to start preparing for those doctors didn't know our God. That was 30 years ago. She was alive and well and has been able to God is a healer. In August 2016, my Uncle Noble was diagnosed with stage 4 non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. He was not giving much hope. It looked very bad. But we are so blessed because we know where to turn when the Throughout his pain, his sickness, his chemo, his hospital stays, my uncle was able to use the worst news in his life and give it to God's glory. He was able to witness. He gave Bible studies to countless people that God put in his path because of that. Right. Today, two years later, he's cancer free yes. and he's still using his testimonies to touch others. Yeah, I'm yeah, telling you yeah. right now, our God is yeah, still a healer. Awesome. God's healing power doesn't begin and end with physical healing. Yeah. There are so many of us, maybe even in this place right now, who need a spiritual healing. Yes. Yes. Just like he can heal cancer, yeah. he can yes. heal our souls. Yes. 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 From shame, from regret, mm -hmm. from envy, from whatever it is that's holding on yeah. and eating away at you, keeping yes. you from being what God wants you to be. Yes. Just like a physical cancer, our spirit can fester and decay and yeah. need healing. Yes. I was born and raised on a church pew. We never missed a service. We went if we were sick. We went if we were tired. We just went. Yes. My daddy is a United Pentecostal preacher and has been pastor since I was 14 years old. I'm a fourth generation Pentecostal. I come from a long line of great men and women of God. But I allowed disappointment and hurt to grow in my spirit until I eventually left the church and I turned my back on God. My spirit was sick. Yes. It was broken. Yes. But we serve a merciful, loving God. Because of my family, after being gone for eight long years, 
Mm. Two years ago in April, I came back to the Lord. Oh, and he healed my soul. Just like He healed my body. Yes. And I still praise Him every single day because I know, yeah. I know I didn't deserve another it's chance. Right. But oh, how He loves us. Yeah. He is a healer. Yeah. He wants to heal you. Yes. Yes. Yeah. We can still call on His healing power today because He never changes. He's yeah. the same yesterday, today, and forever. Yes. What He did for the lame man yes. 2,000 years ago, He can do for you today. Yes. The same power that raised Jairus' daughter from her deathbed oh, is right yeah. here right now yeah. for you. Yeah. It's for me. His healing power didn't end when He called Lazarus up out of that grave. That's right. It didn't yeah. end when He healed the lepers and made yes. them all the people. Yeah. It didn't end when He gave sight to yeah. the yeah. 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 It's yeah. just yeah. as real today as it ever was. Yes. 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 Is believing it, receiving it, and thanking God for it. Our yes. praise. Oh, yes. It's our praise. That's the most powerful weapon that we yes. have. Oh, we just need to utilize it. Yes. Yes. The Bible says to Faith. speak things that are not as though they were. Yes. Praise Him for your healing. No. Thank Him for it. Claim it. There's a beautiful song we sing at our church called Waymaker. <coughs> it says, even when I don't see it, you're working. Yes. Yes. Even when I don't feel it, you're yes. still working. Yes. Yes. You never stop. You yes. never stop yes. working. Yes. So even when we can't see it happening, even when the diagnosis isn't good, yes. praise Him, praise Him, yes. praise yes. Him. Yes. Jeremiah 17, 14 says, Heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. Save me, and I shall be saved, for you are my praise. Mm -hmm. Praise is the key. Hallelujah. David said in Psalms 103 and 2, Bless the Lord, O my soul, mm -hmm. forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your iniquities, who heals all your diseases. Mm -hmm. But what's the very first thing he says? Bless the Lord. He's given praise and glory because that is the key to our healing. Yes. Over and over the word tells us that the Lord's desire is to heal us. Mm -hmm. Jeremiah 30, 17 says, I will restore health unto thee, and I will heal thy wounds. Psalms 49, 3, the Lord will sustain him upon his sickbed. Mm -hmm. In his illness, you restore him to health. Isaiah 38 and 16 says, Lord, your discipline is good, for at yes, least yes. till I've been health. You restore my health and you allow me to live. These are just a few examples, but the Bible is full of them. And if God said it, I believe it. He does not lie. What He says He will do, He will do. Yes. If He gave you a promise, you better believe He's going to deliver. Because He told me I could stand upon His word. So I'm going to praise Him and I'm going to claim my promises. Are you sick or well, rich or poor on the mountain or in the valley? And his praise should continue yes, to be in our mouth. Can we just take a moment and give him some praise? Yes. Yes. Yes.